I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay, and I pity any girl who's in me today. I feel charming. Hi, beautiful people. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on a look that Callie Rowland was recently rocking. It's what I like to call uh, the girl next door look. Very innocent, very clean, and very soft. So enjoy. And what I'm going to use now is Stila's Smudge Pot. I'm going to use it in kitten. Um, I've never used this before. Um, it can double as a eyeliner and or eyeshadow so I'm going to use this color right here so you can use a concealer brush or eyeliner brush I'm going to use this brush right here to apply it on my lip so just take a little bit like I said this is my first time using it so we shall see how it turns out and what's best right now using a cream which is great for the summer you use sometimes shadow it flakes and falls off with sweat so this is great it stays on longer so I'm just going to apply going to the inner corner and bring it in and out and just Spread it out over the lid. Okay, so uh, the paint pot is kind of a metallic color, so um, what I'm going to do is use a um, goldish cream um, shadow to go over top of it just to give the same look and color, almost similar to the color that Kelly's um, wearing. So, um, if you can see this color, I'm gonna, just going to apply it to the lid area, to the same area where I put the kitten, and just go over top of it. Okay, so next I'm going to take um, my crease brush and I'm going to use a charcoal color, like a dark brown, blackish color to put um, on my outer corner and blend it up to my crease. And like I said, I'm just going to take it to the outer corner of my eye and blend it up. Little circles and you just take it like midpoint. Okay, so what, what, what I'm going to do right now is use a highlighter color to put under my brow bone, and I'm going to use a ivory color like this to put under my brow bone and use an angled brush. Just to give like a highlighting. Just need a little bit. Maybe try a little bit more. So now what I'm gonna use is my um, Laura Mercier's Black Ebony eyeliner. Um, as you can see from the photo, she doesn't have heavy liner on. So I'm gonna use something that's kind of light. I'm going to use a slightly wet angled brush and dip it into the cream and line my eye. I guess she doesn't have much, it's not heavy or dramatic. Okay, 
and then I'm going to line the um, lower lash line with the same color but um, I'm going to keep the inner corner use the same color that's on the lid on the inner corner so I'm just going to go midpoint with the eyeliner get started on my lashes uh, don't, I'm not going to apply any false lashes I'm just going to use my eyelash curler and then mascara okay so I'm done with the eyes and we're going to get started with the cheeks her cheeks are very soft she doesn't have a loud color or a bright color on her cheeks um, so what I'm going to do is use um, this NYC New York color will um, and it's like a mixture of all these colors like peachy pink color and I'm going to apply it to my cheeks my cheekbones and hopefully give the same effect as Kelly is. And just, just apply a little. So now I'm getting going to move on to the lips and her lips are nude. She, like, she looks like she barely has anything on it. But we're going to apply some gloss. I'm going to use Balm Shelter's Lip Gloss in Dream Girl. So, you see this color right here. And I'm just going to apply it to my lips. I'm not going to use any line or anything. Her lips are very nude and neutral. This smells and tastes so good. <laughs> so if you're ever looking for a lip gloss or balm that's tasty, this is your best bet. So this completes what I like to call the Cali Roland Girl Next Door look. It's a very soft and neutral look that you can wear just about anywhere. To the office, to the beach, pool parties, out at the club. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was um, hope it was entertaining and also informative for you. So if you have any questions, as always, hit me up at uh, uh, info at vanityrich.com or at vanityrich at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay and I pity.